What is up, everyone? If y'all can obviously tell, I've gotten fatter. Also, uh, the video is a little, the video blog is a little bit late. Normally, I do it on Mondays, but I was busy on Monday. I was a lot busy on Monday. First off, uh, first thing. So I was trying to get another car. I did not know that Enterprise, the the rental place, actually sells cars. I always thought they did just rent them out. So I was like, what? So uh, you know. I end up calling up uh, Enterprise, let them know that I'm going to give them back their car as soon as tomorrow. And uh, yeah. give them their car as soon as tomorrow. And, uh, you know, they were like, you know, hey, Enterprise sells cars. And I'm like, I did not know this. So I went over to Enterprise, which is the place that sells them. The dealership is on the other side of town. So it was just as simple as just going over there and handling up on it that way I didn't get a car but like I'm now you know surprised like now it's just like whoa another place where you can go to buy cars at <sighs> I realize now that I don't want a used car I don't want a used car the next car I'm getting is new because the car that I had before was new and uh, you know and while it will cost more money and I'll have a note and everything like that I it'll be in better condition like one time I saw somebody get a used car and uh, they had it for about a week and it just crumpled, you know, like it was just in really bad shape. Like it was good. It was good for that week. But then after that week, it just started like the problem started coming in and, you know, he would go over to the, he would go over to the place where he got the car from and he will be, and they will be like, you know, uh, you know, well, you got to bring it to this place and it's going to cost this much money. You got to bring it to this place. So it's going to cost this much money. And it's like, I bought this from you. You know, I figured that you guys would fix it or at least have a, you know, have a cooperative with somebody else. So I won't have to pay this much. So, you know, after seeing that, that just sort of shook me out of the idea of buying a used car. So I'm like, I don't want to do that. You know, I don't want to be in the situation where I'm going to need to do that. So that's. That's out the question. Also, if you hear noise in the background, I have roommates. Uh, they will pop up. Who knows? Or not. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah. I went over to the Enterprise place. Checked out some of the cars that they had. A lot of them were, like, used and out of my price range anyway. So. But, yeah. After tomorrow, I will officially be walking again. So, um, there's that. I'm not really too bummed out because I used to walk everywhere when I was when I was younger and I, did, I didn't always have a vehicle you know I didn't get my first car until I was like like early 20s so uh, I was always sort of walking around and I realized I didn't really have a lot of places that I preferred going to when I was walking because I was like, like you know back back when I used to walk everywhere I think all I ever did was go to you know the you know, to the store to get something to eat or go to the library to just get something from my brain to eat. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that was years ago. And also, the library used to be like a mile away from me. I used to walk a mile to go to the library. And like thinking about that, it, like because after a while, you just sort of get used to it. You know, because like I lived in the inner, I lived in what they would call the inner city, the the hood, if you will. And I would literally walk a mile to go to a library. And the library was amazing. Like, um, like Baton Rouge, Louisiana's library is easily one of the best, has like one of the best online databases I've ever seen. Like, whatever you need, they got it. Like, if I wasn't in school right now, I would be, I would be, you know, uh, learning stuff from that library in particular. Not necessarily saying that other library databases are not great. I'm just saying I've lived in Baton Rouge long enough that I've actually seen, you know, it, it's, 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 it's really nice. It's so good. I need to go back over there and get that taken care of. Ugh. So, yeah, that's a, that's, that was most of my day. Also, I got really tired and, uh, you know, went to sleep after trying to binge Daybreak, the Netflix series Daybreak, by the way. Here's the thing. The thing about Daybreak was I actually had an idea similar to that, but it wasn't going to be kids. It was it wasn't going to be it was going to be also post apocalyptic and people were going to kind of have their own little groups. But it was going to be more political than 
child motivated school stuff. By the way, check out my ch check out my uh, nail. <laughs> it only gets worse, and is also it hurts. But um, yeah. But yeah, daybreak. Like I had this one idea. It was going to be basically, you know, uh, it was going to be a. Uh, I think there was going to be some kind of, I think electricity was going to like fall under or something like that, electronics or the internet or things like that. And, uh, you know, people were going to use the library as ways of like, like the way they use the internet. But because people are stupider now, they won't be called libraries. They would have been called scribe rooms. And uh, the idea about this story was you were going to follow this ragtag group of people consisted from like multiple you know, just like outcasts from all the other groups. You were going to have the alters, which were the, the LGBTQ community, but they were going to be called alter sexual. So they were going to be called the alters. Um, there was also going to be uh, the the uh, the marigold community, which were like the, the, the hippies or like the, the people who count the, you know, the hippies of the 60s. You're also going to have the, the people who call themselves new vespians because it's going to take place in America, but it won't be called America. America would have been called uh, uh, Vespus after Mary Go Vespucci, right? And uh, what would happen is, is that like, you know, obviously Vespus fell. So the new Vespus people came in and tried to bring it back up. And they were going to be basically a take on what I think conservatives are. So they were going to be racist, violent, mentally unstable, angry, drug addict, angry, drug addicted, paranoid, you know all types of stuff really 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 good resourcefully and they love to fight but they never really win the wars that they start i had like a whole bunch of ideas with this so i should probably get back on it because daybreak was good but it kind of gave you this idea kind of like what high school would be <laughs> if if it was like you know if people's lives were on the line and uh it's gonna But yeah, so that was, so yeah, like, uh, I tried to binge that show, but I ended up, like, passing out after, like, three episodes. It's a good, it's, uh, it's a good show, though. It's a good show. I definitely recommend. Speaking of recommendation, show recommendations, I have been, um, you know, I recommended a few more shows on my podcast, which I just basically rambled through, because, uh, I honestly did not know where I was going with the podcast episode. I was just rambling and it got easier to do i actually felt confident uh doing those things normally i do it with the co-host and the co-host you know we sort of just ping pong ideas off of each other but this guy you know he was busy so i kind of had to fly solo and when i did i just winged it so uh i'm probably going to be posting that podcast episode below and um take that out the you know as well as just take that out the pasture and do whatever you want with it uh, what else is there? What else is there? I'm tired, <laughs> but um, I'm also just really kind of upset about the fact that I uh, got into this wreck and everything, and it just feels like my life is just kind of because things are actually looking okay. They weren't looking great. They weren't looking perfect, but they were looking at least a little bit better than just like back to square one again. Your life sucks now, but I won't. Uh, I won't end this too. I won't be too bummed out about this. I'm trying my best not to be too depressed. But uh, what's that sound? Uh, let's see. What else is there? What else is there? Personal. Right. Personal. Po political. Political. Uh. As I said before, I've been following the January 6th stuff. And um, January 6th is... Uh, like, seriously, the more I look into it, the more funnier and more depressing it gets. Because, like, you know, now you got, like, one guy who is currently in the prison basically complaining about, you know, you know, uh, the, the, the prison that I'm in, it violates human rights. And it's like, gee... I wonder where you got this idea from. We're the victims now. No, you're not. Um, so there's that. That's weird. Uh, 
I'm kind of like, you know, in a bit of a daze right now because I'm still thinking about the car situation. But I said I was going to practice the mantra, so I'm going to practice the mantra. As bad as it is right now, it will get better. It will get better. That's something I said I was going to do. Now I'm going to do that. Love, peace, and just remember, it always gets better.